this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on joint venture account. I want to solve one sum wherein memoranda joint account is prepared. Under what circumstances memoranda joint venture account is to be prepared? And what is memoranda joint venture account? When it is a memoranda joint venture account, it is not a part of books of accounts. It is a working note. When it is a working note for recording details in working note, you are not required to follow the rules of debit and credit. So one account is debited and second, second account is credited. Two fold effects of the transaction that we generally consider while preparing or recording the transaction. But when it is a memoranda joint venture account, the other name is pro forma joint venture account or it is a working note to find out the profit of joint venture business. Here you are, I am going to solve one sum wherein memoranda joint venture account is prepared. Means, what is the method of recording the transaction when you are required to prepare memoranda joint venture account? When part, when first condition, no independent books of accounts are maintained. Joint venture business is not given a separate legal accounting entity. So no independent separate books of accounts for joint venture are prepared. Then do you mean to say that the joint venture transactions are not going to be recorded at all? They are going to be recorded. By who? They will be recorded by the co-venturers. Means by the partners. The partner will record transactions of joint venture. Then the question arises whether the partner is going to record all the transactions of joint venture or is he going to record the transaction with which he is concerned. The second option that we are going to consider in this sum wherein partner is going to record only those transactions to which he is a privy to transaction, to which he is a party to transaction. He is not going to record the transaction between other partner and joint venture business. And when such situation is there, in that case, you are required to prepare memoranda joint venture account. So, <clears throat> under what circumstances memoranda joint venture account is prepared? Memoranda joint venture account is prepared. One, where independent books of accounts are not maintained. Second, partner records not all the transactions of joint venture, but he records only those transactions with which he is a privy to transaction. If these two conditions are satisfied, in those situations, we are required to prepare memoranda joint venture account. Now observe the sum that I want to consider to explain the concept of memoranda joint venture account. Just observe the sum. This is the sum that I wanted to solve here before you. I have already uploaded this sum for your understanding wherein memoranda joint venture account is not prepared but joint venture account is prepared and partner records all the transactions of joint venture in his books of accounts and no independent books of accounts are maintained. So I repeat the same sum once again wherein partner records only those transactions with which he is a privy to transaction, with which he is a party to transaction. He is not going to record all the transactions of joint venture and to have his share in profit, we are required to prepare memoranda joint venture account. Just observe it. How do I do it? So, prepare memoranda joint venture account and necessary accounts in the books of Timir. Timir is one partner, Yogesh is another, another partner. Timir and Yogesh entered into a joint venture to consign due to foreign country. Timir sent goods to like 50,000 and paid 10,000 and 9250 as Sunday expenses. So, these are the Timir sent goods. It is a transaction between Timir and joint venture business. Paid freight 10,000 and 9250 Sunday expenses. It is a transaction between Timir and joint venture. Timir is a party to a transaction for transaction. So he will record this transaction in his books of accounts. Yoga sent goods for 225,000 paid freight insurance 8,400 lock charges excise and Sunday expenses. So these are the payments made by another partner Yogesh. So this transaction, Yogesh sent goods up to like 25,000, this transaction is a transaction between Yogesh and joint venture. Timir is not a party to this transaction. Timir is not the privy to this, privy to this transaction. In that situation, Timir is not going to record this transaction. 
Yogesh listed an account sale of 6,25,000 as the sales price of all goods. Now Yogesh has received the proceeds of sale. It is a transaction between Yogesh and joint venture. Timir is not going to record this sales transaction when he, is, when he will record in his books of accounts an account, a joint venture with Yogesh. So, here we are going to record this transaction in the books of Timir. Only those transactions with which Timir is a party to the transaction. Those transactions are going to be recorded. Now, I want to prepare the books of accounts of Timir. So, books of accounts of Timir, this is the details of the sum that I have read before you. Timir will prepare only one account, joint venture with Yogesh account. It's a personal account. So, joint venture with Yogesh account, it's a personal account. So, whatever he contributes for joint venture, he says that I have given it to Yogesh. See, joint venture business is a short term partnership. For a short term partnership, whatever the contributions are made by Timir, he says that I pay because of my partnership with Yogesh, so I give it to Yogesh like that. So, this is to be treated as a personal account, wherein the capacity of this account is joint venture with Yogesh. Now see, this account is prepared wherein whatever the contribution is paid by Timir for joint venture business, either purchase of goods for joint venture or payment of any expense for joint venture, he has paid all these things to his joint venture business. So it is a receiver, debit the receiver. So whatever the contributions made by Timir will be debited to this account. Now suppose that he got the sales proceeds or any other income of joint venture business. Now it is an income. Who gave, his, who gave this income to Timir? The joint venture business has given this income to Timir. Timir. So joint venture with Yogesh account will be credited. So Timir got sales proceeds. It is a revenue. It is his personal revenue? No. That revenue is of, is of whom? It, that revenue is of joint venture business. So that revenue will be credited to joint venture with Yogesh account. Now, in light of this understanding, let me start with the sum. Timir sent goods of 250,000. I am Timir. I gave goods to the joint venture business. Joint venture with Yogesh is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Joint venture with Yogesh account. Debit. To sales account. In my personal capital, my personal goods are sold to the joint venture business. But it is given to the joint venture business. Joint venture with, joint venture with Yogesh. It's a personal account. It's a receiver. Debit the receiver. So, joint venture with Yogesh account, debit to sales account. Now, 10,000 and 9,250 are the expenses paid by me, I am Timir. I have paid for joint venture business. When I have made a payment, cash goes out. Credit what goes out, so cash account is to be credited. The payment is made to the joint venture business with Yogesh. It is a receiver. So, joint venture with Yogesh account, debit to cash account. Freight. And Sunday expenses are paid. So 19,250 I paid for joint venture business. So 19,250. Now next transaction. Yoga sent goods were 225,000 and freight and insurance 8,400. Dock charges 2250, excise, excise 3265 and 4375 for Sunday. All these payments are made by Yogesh. It is a transaction between Yogesh and joint venture. Timir is not a party to that transaction. Timir is not a privy to that transaction. So Timir won't record this transaction in his books of accounts. So look at the note that I have prepared. Yogesh contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Yogesh. Hence not recorded in the books of Timir. Now next transaction. Yogesh received Account sales 6 lakh 25,000 is the sales proceeds of the goods. So goods are sold by an agent in a foreign country. Proceeds are received by Yogesh. So this is a transaction between Yogesh and joint venture. Timir is not a party to that transaction. So Timir won't record. So Yogesh receives for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Yogesh. Hence not recorded in the books of Timir. So now, all the transactions are considered. The transaction with which I was a party to the transaction, that is, Timir was a party to the transaction. Those transactions are recorded by Timir. Now, Timir says that our joint venture business is now over. I should get my share in profit. 
He is entitled to have a share in profit being a part of. So, now Timir claims his share in profit from joint venture business. Now see. Now, Timir claims his share in joint venture profit. Now to find out his share in profit, share of Timir in joint venture business, Memoranda joint venture account is prepared to find out the share of Timir in profit. Now I am required to prepare Memoranda joint venture account. Now I want to find out profit. For that I, I prepare a working note. That working note is identified as Memoranda joint venture account. The other name is Pro Forma joint venture account. But it is a working note. It is not prepared on the basis of debit and credit principle. We are required to find out profit only. How to find out the profit? Profit could be found out on the basis of matching concept. Expenses and purchases. Purchases and expenses will be deducted from the sales revenue. We will get the profit. Let me do that. But for the purpose of finding out that profit, we can prepare a statement also. Instead of preparing a statement, we are just presenting a statement in a form of account with a clear understanding that it is not an account which corresponds to the entries of debits and credits. That's an important understanding that the students should. Now to find out the profit, a statement known as Memoranda Joint Venture Account is to be prepared. Here I prepare Memoranda Joint Venture Account. It is a statement. Other name is Pro Forma Joint Venture Account. It is not a part of books of accounts. It does not, it, it don't, it, it is to be, it is prepared not in a manner that corresponds with debit and credit like that accounting system to fold facts. So I cannot write debit and credit in this memoranda joint venture account. Now let me find out the profit on the basis of matching concept. Now see. First of all, Timir. Goods purchased for joint venture business. These are the expenses paid by Timir. All the expenses and goods given by Timir are debited same way. Yogesh. Goods sent by Yogesh, expenses paid by Yogesh, these are the expenses paid by Yogesh. Freight, insurance, job charges, excess, Sunday expenses. Now the sales proceeds are received by Yogesh, this is the sales proceeds. From these sales proceeds, all these expenses will be deducted, you will get the profit. So 6 like 25,000 minus all these expenses, you will get the profit of 12,460. This profit will be distributed between partners. And Timmy will claim his share in profit. So, to find out this total profit of joint venture business and share of Timir in profit, this memoranda joint venture account is prepared. So, share of Yogesh and Timir equal share. So, 56,230 is the share of Yogesh and my share, Timir share, is 56,230. So, I claim profit of joint venture business, joint venture with Yogesh account. I claim profit. Profit is my income, personal income. That will be credited. To. Incomes and gains are credited in my books of accounts. So this profit of joint venture business will be credited to my general profit and loss account. And the amount is recoverable from this joint venture business. So the entry for that is 56,230, not this. Remember, 56,230 is the entry. Joint venture with Yogesh account debit to profit and loss account credit. Now I have given goods. These are the expenses paid by me. This is the profit that I claim. Total amount recoverable from joint venture business is 325,480. So I should get 325,480 for the contributions made by me, for the expenses paid for joint venture business, as well as my claim of profit has to be settled when the joint venture business is being closed down. So I am entitled to have 325,480 that I get cash from Yogesh. So bank account debit. To joint venture with Yogesh account credit, 325,480. This is how the accounting is made by Timmy. Now, after recording the books of accounts of Timmy, Yogesh also records in his, in his personal books of accounts that his transaction with joint venture. Yogesh is also not going to record all the transactions of joint venture. He is going to record only those transactions, his own personal, tra his transaction with the joint venture will be recorded. All the transactions of joint venture are not going to be recorded by Yogesh. With that modus operandi, I prepare the books of accounts maintained by Yogesh. Now I want to record the books of accounts that are maintained by Yogesh. So, books of Yogesh, 
he maintains also, he maintains only one account that is joint venture with Timeri account. So debit and credit joint venture with Timeri account. Now look at the first transaction. Timeri sent goods worth two lakh fifty thousand and paid freight ten thousand and nine two five zero Sunday expenses. This is a transaction between Timeri and joint venture. Yogesh is not a party to that transaction, so Yogesh will not record. So Timeri contributes for joint venture. It is a transaction between joint venture and Timeri. Hence, not recorded in the books of Yogesh. Now, Yogesh has sent goods. Yogesh gives goods to the joint venture business. Joint venture with Timir is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Goods go out. That is identified as sale. So, joint venture with Timir account debit to sales account. Now, expenses are paid by Yogesh. Cash goes out when the payment of expense are expenses payment of expenses is being made. Cash goes out. Credit what goes out, cash account is to be credited. To whom the payment is made? The payment of expenses are not the personal expenses of Yogesh. They are the expenses paid for joint venture business. So joint venture with Timir account is to be debited. So joint venture with Timir account debit to cash account. All these expenses paid by Yogesh are debited. So these are the expenses paid by Yogesh, debited to joint venture with Timir account. Now Yogesh has received six lakh twenty five thousand sales proceeds. The sales process, the receipt, cash is received or check is received, that might be deposited in the bank. So cash or bank account debit to joint venture with Timir account credit. This is the income of joint venture business. So it is considered as the amount has been received from joint venture with Timir, 25,000. So cash or bank account debit to joint venture with Timir account credit. Now after recording all this transaction, Yogesh claims his share in joint venture profit. For that memorandum joint venture account is prepared to find the share of Yogesh in profit. So this is the memorandum joint venture account. It's a statement. It doesn't have debit and credit. It is a statement. So let me find out the profit. So these are the expenses incurred by Timir. Timir supplied goods. Expenses paid by Timir. This memorandum joint venture account is statement. Pro forma joint venture account, the other name, is prepared to find out the profit of joint venture. It is prepared on the basis of matching concept. All the expenses and purchases will be matched against the sales revenue and the profit will be found out. All the expenses are here recorded in this side. Yogesh supplied goods. These are the expenses paid by Yogesh. So these are the all total expenses for the joint venture. What is the sales revenue? Six lakh twenty-five thousand is the sales revenue that is credited here. Difference between these two is known as profit. So six lakh twenty-five thousand minus all these things, so you will get the profit one lakh twelve thousand four sixty distributed equally between the partners, Yogesh and Tim. This is how distribution takes place. Now Yogesh says that Yogesh says that I should get this much of profit from joint venture business. So for that entry is joint venture with Timir account debit to profit and loss account credit. This is how entry is recorded. Now six lakh twenty five thousand I received from joint venture business. These are the payments made by me. I'm a, I'm also required to collect my fifty six thousand two thirty profit from this sales process. So from this sales process, all these expenses incurred by me and the profit, my claim for profit will be deducted, and the surplus with me means with Yogesh will be given to Timir. So it is given to Timir. Timir is the receiver, debit the receiver. So joint venture with Timir account debit to bank account credit. So 3,25,480, the payment will be made by Yogesh to Timir on conclusion, on closer of joint venture business. This is how accounting is done by Yogesh. So what is the important point of this? Sir? No separate books are maintained, but Partner records only those transactions with which he is concerned. His claim for profit is worked out by preparing a working note known as Memoranda Joint Venture Account. These are the important points of this sum. I have tried to explain you all these things. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to you.